Hello everybody, here we are. How are you today? Let me see. Hello everybody on YouTube and everybody on Twitch. Yes, Rajab was looking differently today because uh, I can't change the title on Twitch. That's a, a little problem that we always have. So if there are any moderators that can help us out, please do change the title. It's not Rajabov and Karyakin. It's Raluca and Sophie and we're looking at King Hunt. <laughs> exactly. Hope you can, can hear us well. Let's see. Sophie, I forgot to ask you if you if you are in the analysis board, but I think... I am. And I see it from uh, White's side. It is from White's side, yes. We are, we are going to start as usual with some tactics. Yes. You already know that. We are going to look at Karpov today, who's not famous for his attacking style, but he does have some great attacking games. So I, I try to select a few. Uh, I don't think we will be able to see all of them, but I have some good ones coming. Just let's get let's get Was warmed up here. The player who people said when you play Karpov, nothing happened and then you lose. <laughs> yes, I think that's uh, that's fair to say. Nothing happened, and then and then uh, and then you lose. But not in these games. In these games, something actually happens. Okay, something um, happens. Oh, on Twitch we are streaming on Chess Twenty Four. Hi, Chess Scholar. <laughs> Good to see you. We are on Chess Twenty Four, and we have a tiny little problem with the the title. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hope you guys understand. You should already be used to us by, by now. We have apparently no power whatsoever over the Twitch channel. It does want does not want to change the title. It does not cooperate ever. No. So we're unfortunately not not the kayakin and the radio pop. <laughs> but uh... Or yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I, I see this position and I think um, about the F7 square because hmm. two of our pieces are already lined up against that. Yeah. And I want to just throw more things onto that. So actually my first idea would be to go um, probably knight E to G5. Uh -huh. So, okay, that's... I'm just going to see if I can remove some of these errors. <laughs> So it's sacrificing a knight, so it has to be good. But my point is, after he takes back, then I guess just taking back with the knight first, then we have three pieces attacking f7, and we could even get possibly rook uh, to seventh rank next move. Um, I think that looks promising. But it really depends if black has any like defensive moves after knight g5. Yeah, I was going to say that after knight g5 you have to look um, for some defensive ideas. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess if he doesn't take, then it's not really critical. Then we haven't sacrificed anything. No, so of course. So if he take back, then okay, can he defend f7? He can't move the pawn, of course. He can't really... The queen is offside. Or maybe the queen could take on d6 because we're not protecting that right now, but then knight takes or bishop takes. Probably knight takes f7. Hmm. Knight f7 looks strong, yeah? yeah? And some discovered attack. Okay, I have to say that knight g5 also wins, but it's not that simple. After knight takes g5, there's an idea with knight e5 here. Knight e5. Ah, okay, to defend. And then if we. Yeah, okay, so then we could maybe take a couple of times, but then we would... Yeah, okay, so we would have to sacrifice something. I'm going to show this line for everybody, so you guys see what we are talking about. Uh, here. Wow. Takes, and here 95 looks like the only way for black to keep playing. But rook e5, as you are pointing out, Sophie, bishop e5. And here you want to take on f7, because if you take on... Uh, on e5, then I think queen d6 can perhaps be played after rook e5. What if we take an f7 with the knight then? Oh, wait, there's checkmate then. 
Yeah, there are some ideas which... Ah, right, I can go uh, directly Queen D1, yeah? Yeah, yeah le maybe. let's show that. That's a nice trick we Black has here. So Queen takes D6 here and there is a checkmate on D1. You don't have Knight takes F7 here. In between in the end though. Sorry? Maybe. But can we play Bishop F1 in the end? Knight F7, you mean here, Queen D1? Oh, can you just refresh the... Sorry, one? yeah. Can you see now? Yes. Knight f7, queen d1. Yeah, but I think you are losing the knight on f7. Yeah, that's true that I'm no longer protecting. Okay. No. So then we lose that's way too a, much. That's a rook down, right? It's too <laughs> much <probably> material. <laughs> on f1 as well. Probably not enough anymore. No, but you can go bishop f7 instead here. King h8. And I think this line is not that easy because here you have the move g4, which is pretty nice because you want to play queen h3, but you have to see everything. Yeah. In the first place, I think. I didn't see g4. <laughs> it's not obvious, I know. But it's, it's a really nice way to include the queen in this mm. position. So what else is there? Because, okay, you start with knight g5, but... That's not the way to start things, is it? <laughs> no. Then, no. <laughs> uh, then maybe we should consider taking an F7 first, but I'm really looking if people have any suggestions in the chat. That, that's the way to start with, right? Start with uh, checks and captures, and bishop F7 is both. So, here you have to look at bishop takes F7 first. I don't see any suggestion in the chat. What's happening, guys? This, I, don't, I didn't think this was that difficult. <laughs> People are asking if it's a 3,000 uh, rated puzzle. I see so. that, yeah. <laughs> Did I overestimate? Okay, I'm puzzle? gonna look at Bishop takes F7. So Bishop takes F7, uh, Rook takes F7. Yeah. And okay, then maybe now Knight G5. Maybe now Knight G5, yeah. Now Knight G5. And let's say he takes, and yeah. we take, then we sacrificed, what, two pieces? But we also got two pawns, and he, he has to protect the rook on f7. He probably has to maybe get the other rook. Yeah. And then, then maybe now we can get the rooks into action somehow. Yes. And maybe we could play rook e8. Nice, Sophie. Yeah, it's either e7 Super or e8. Nice. But... That's very nice. Rook e8 is a nice spot all the way from yeah. here. Okay, we need to find some tournaments for Sophie because she's <laughs> like that. Rook uh, f7. Usual question, Raluca, how to pronounce your I will name. pronounce my last name, but let me just finish the, <laughs> the, the game first. We're going to have some fun. Just, just a moment. <laughs> Knight to g5, and this is it, takes, takes, and on rook f8, rook e8. Yeah. Nice, right? It is pretty nice. Is rook e7 also working? Um, no, rook e7 does not work because you might get mated on the long diagonal. Rook e7, uh, I think I have queen b7. Yeah. How do you defend now? How do you defend queen g2? <laughs> Can we play f3? It's not... Uh... Yeah, but bishop d4 is coming in. Yeah, it doesn't look very nice. It does not <laughs> uh... look very nice, no. <laughs> and you are a piece down, so if I can get to defend... I have queen d5 next, by the way. I pieces down right now right oh right you are two pieces down so that's that's perfect i'm going to take another one on f7 that will be three yeah no so it has to be rook to e8 in this position after rook f8 rook e8 uh because this is the very nice idea queen f7 and everything's pinned well the rook on f8 is pinned 
after king uh, h8. That's what he played, and now knight e6, back resigned. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty convincing, yeah? <laughs> yeah, very much. Yeah. Defend with queen f3. What do you mean defend with queen f3? Earlier, when we were looking at rook e7. Yeah, but queen f3 here. Don't I just take it? Rook f3? I'm not pinned anymore. The rook on f7 is, is free. Yeah, we have to keep the queen on that diagonal. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Because... Uh, of, uh, play here. Yes. Let's, uh, this is uh, another game with white, Carp of Larsen. White to play. I think this one will not be very difficult. So let's see. And my name is pronounced Sgircha. <laughs> That's the pronunciation of my last name. Next time somebody asks, I will have to answer. Yes, I was going to say, <laughs> Sophie, I think you should have answered this, but thank you. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> now, now you have. It's a promise for next next week. Yes. So what do we play here with white? Take a moment. Yeah, I'm still looking at it, and I'm not actually entirely sure. Uh, what I can see is that there are some you know, holes in in black's position. Like the dark squares are pretty uh, airy. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm, I'm thinking if I can just move my queen with like a double threat. Um, playing something like queen h7, threatening a pawn on h5 and f7. Okay, yeah, you can do that for sure. A little bit, uh, I mean, it's not winning on the spot, but I still have to like play it. And also the pawn and on G2. Oh, pawn Singing, so maybe that's not really the way to go. Um, then there's the idea about going queen b3 uh -huh. to threaten on b6, b7, which would win the queen, so that would be more than just a pawn. But then if I go queen b3 and he maybe just plays something like king c7, then I'm not so sure if um, if that's really something interesting hmm yeah i have to say this is a little bit harder i'm gonna see no. if anybody <laughs> yet open those lines with d5 uh jk jk is it do you mean just kidding because i was actually looking at d5 <laughs> yeah actually d5 oh. is the best move here that's yes. that's that's one of the things to look at. Yeah, open, exactly, open everything. Nikora has it on, on Twitch as well. D5 is an idea followed by Rook right. B6 ideas, Queen H7 ideas. Yeah, okay, people are loving D5. Yeah, D5 is the move here. Okay. So for everybody thinking that uh, getting in here, uh, the title is incorrect and we cannot change it. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, Definitely not uh, not our fault there. We are and we're, and, sorry. Yeah, we're looking at both the chat on YouTube and on Twitch. Yes, exactly. We are we are reading both. So here d5 we go. And yes. pawn takes d5. Which pawn? Let's try the c pawn. This is what was played. Uh, because after e takes d5, I think queen f5 is pretty convincing. Yeah. We don't have to see much more, but if we were to follow down the line, this is queen f6 and rook e7. Yeah, that looks good. To mate here is is over. Yeah. So he played uh, c takes d5. And then what do we have? Queen Either queen b5 or rook b7. Or, that's not everything. Or. Check, checks. <laughs> Checks, all oh. the checks, Sophie. <laughs> all the checks, sorry. Okay, so we could sacrifice the queen and d5, but I don't think okay. that's... Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's a bit... Uh... Okay, so then we have rook takes b7, but again, 
Mm, because we don't have C6, it would be nice if you could take and B7 and then play C6. Mean? What do you mean we don't have C6? I mean, we... Ah, I was thinking about rook takes B7 and then C6. Okay. That would... We can play C6. We can play C6. First. As Matthew and then... suggested, C6 and rook B7. Yeah. That's it. King takes C6 and now queen B5 is even better. It's actually after C5, uh, Larson, uh, after C6, Larson uh, resigned here. But okay. this is why he resigned. Loose pieces. Yeah, that's rook on G1, that's true. Yeah. Hmm. Rook on G1 is, is falling. Is so, it just losing after D5? I mean, it's just yes. winning. Yeah, D5 is game over. Plus seven, something like that. Nothing else to do. And this was a game between Karpov and Larson. Um, in 1980. Larson, who also covered some Larson, weeks ago. Larson, whom we all also studied, yes. Who also had some attacking games. Yeah. Okay, and now let's, let's move on to, to the rest of the games, because I have some good ones to show you. This one against Korchnoi, for example, is pretty amazing. And white we are with the white pieces, yes, Karpov is white. And this was played in the candidates in 1974 in the match between Karpov and Korchnoi. Um, okay, I will just ask you what would you play here, but this is kind of a normal position in the Sicilian. I think the ideas are um, pretty classical here. What would you guys do here with white? And I can say I would consider Bishop h6 to exchange the dark squared bishop. Mm -hmm. And also by h5, I would be tempted to play. Maybe g4 and then h5 next move. Um, maybe just h5 straight away. Yeah, h5 is, uh, is g4, h5 is also suggested on Twitch. Mm -hmm. But saying g4, uh, uh, Harish. And G4 um, is possible here, but in this position you can already go H5. You don't need to play G4 first. No, because G4 would H5 then be maybe I an idea. I think maybe if G4 H5 is an idea, maybe that does open the game a little bit, but. Um, it also stops the pawn storm. Yeah. Oh, and of course, also King B1. I didn't even mention that because, but that's because I, I'm looking at like aggressive moves, so like winning moves. King B1, I would also very much consider if this was um, also game typical was... in these positions. No, King yes. B1, get yeah. out of the checks. Um, Bishop H6. I have to say that I don't know if Bishop H6 works in this position because this knight on d4 is left unprotected so don't i have knight e4 there i might have knight e4 um yeah after bishop h6 yes bishop h6 knight e4 i'm i'm uh, i'm winning the the pawn i think for free right ah that's true actually so here I, about that. we don't have bishop h6 here right away no but H5. And also, uh, chicken, uh, chicken, chicken, uh, H5, you could say that H5 would lose a pawn, maybe even more, but it's it's worth it to open up Black's yes. kingside. That is actually the idea here, yeah. yeah. This is, uh, you'll see this a lot in the Sicilian, that white goes H5, sacrifices this pawn, and then everything happens on the H5. Then when you play bishop H6, it will come with uh, more strength, right? Because you have... Uh, you have the h file open, so you are already hitting on h7 when you when you play that mm. with queen h6. So knight h5, yes, we lose the pawn, and here the point is that g4 comes with tempo, knight f6, and now we really want to play bishop h6, but can we play bishop h6 here? Or is knight e4 still? <laughs> it's still trouble. there, right? <laughs> Yeah. Bishop h6, knight, knight e4 is still uncomfortable. 
Maybe we should show the line because I think it's a little Sorry. Uh, tricky. So bishop h6 here, knight e4. This bishop opens. And so if we take the knight with either the pawn or the f pawn, then black can take on d4 with probably the rook and yeah. then our queen can attack. So yeah. yeah, that is the point. I don't know if we are not losing more here because this queen will, will get in the game with queen a5. But anyway, this is not really... Okay, maybe we have queen h2 here. Ye yes. But I think... Maybe we're losing... Uh, like, if just if the exchanges would be good for black because we still uh, sacrificed a few pawns, right? So... so you can maybe take on, on d1 first. Yeah, and can you see the board, Sophie? Can you see rook d1 now? No, let me just... Oh, yeah, now I can see you taking on d1. Okay. So, okay, if I want to keep everything on the h-file, I have to take with the king. Yeah. And now, I think this was a very good in-between move because I was looking at bishop e5, which seems to work now because g4... I mean, before I was looking at f4, but now I take here with check. Uh, and what if white tries to stay in the h file, playing something like queen h3? Yes. And then I still... What do I have to do here? I have. I probably have to play for counterplay and give you the exchange, maybe. no? Yeah, I think maybe queen b6, a5. Queen a5 or queen... Maybe get to c4 somehow, no? Because I like the square d4 for my queen. Yeah. So maybe queen c7 can also be an idea here. This is what I want. Queen c7, and I want to get my queen in the game here. And okay, this is something that you I want. <laughs> queen c7, because then there are no checks. Yeah. Can white just uh, take an, an f8? Yes, he can. But I th I think that that's the only check. King takes f8, queen h7. Ah, because the bishop is nicely protecting h8. Yeah, the bishop on e5 is very nice. And here I wanted queen c4. Why not queen c4 here? I think it's already getting complicated, no? Yeah. Black has more compensation that we than we wanted. Uh, why not bishop f4? Oh, and bishop e5. Wait. Let's go back there. Bishop h6, knight e4, here. Queen h2, takes, takes, bishop e5. Okay, bishop f4 here. Well, I thought... I thought I could defend, but let's see if I can. The only move seems to be h5 in this position. It looks scary, but I'm not getting mated, no? So I have to play it. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I have anything else than h5. Can you see the board, Sophie? Do I need to refresh? Yeah. Like plays h5? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How do I... I yeah, I think I would prefer having the white pieces still, right? <laughs> Probably in a in a game this this would be difficult for black. Yeah. So pawn takes h5. Okay, bishop f5 I thought, but I'm getting mated on h8, right? Pawn takes g6. Uh, yeah, because we take the bishop after on e5, you take no? So here I was thinking bishop f5, but what happens if pawn takes g6 here? I'm not that protected as I thought. Okay, I can take with the pawn and maybe I escape. Are you, yeah, with to e8 and... Do I escape? No, this queen h7 mate. <laughs> queen h7 is mate here, right? Ah, uh, yeah, because now the bishop is... Over. I'm not escaping. <laughs> Okay. Chess is hard, yes. 
So here I don't... Okay, so if I take with the bishop, you take on e5. Oh, but I take with check. So bishop takes g6. I was afraid of bishop e5, but I take with check. King c1. And now I'm not getting mated on h7 anymore, so I can play f6. That is... Uh, <laughs> that's kind of a deep that, point. Actually. That's a deep point, yeah. And now we're what? But now what is the position? You're down I'm one point? A, yeah, I'm, I'm a pawn up with black here. Look at that. Yeah. I'm up material. I never thought I would be up material. But I am up material because I just won a pawn on e4. And I think actually this is what's nice about not having um, um, an evaluation bar mm. while we do this because we have to, you know, figure it out on our own. Yes. Um, yeah. Not easy at all, this. No, and uh, I wonder if Karpov saw everything here because he didn't play bishop h6 in this position. So... Uh, I feel like he did and that's maybe why he was not... <laughs> Attacking as some of the other players we've been looking at in general. He the, was a, a deep well, player. He didn't want to go into something weird and muddy where maybe black would end up being better. So he would be like, no, I'm going to choose the thing where I'm surely. Yeah, I think that's a good point, uh, Sophie. Yeah, you are right. He was very solid and you see this in, in his attacks. He's solid yeah. in his attack also. It's His attack is great. Uh, and it's great because he, he annihilates any kind of counterplay from the opponent so maybe here he didn't even see that far but maybe he just saw knight e4 rook d4 and mm. and that it could That's... get complicated no yeah it's probably not necessary to go on uh, in all these deep lines with everything and okay. yeah <laughs> So, yeah, that black is better. That's why bishop h6 doesn't work. That was, what, like five moves that we 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 were analyzing ahead and we made some mistakes on the way. I got mated in the, <laughs> in the process on h7. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's definitely not e easy to, to defend there, but there is a defense. But Karpov, yeah, plays it safe here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why not? Why not? I have bishop h6 next. Why it's do I need... Nice Sorry. to have the knight in c3 uh, protected by another knight in case the queen is going on the h file so that black doesn't have something but take sacrificing on c3 and doing something weird there. Yeah, that's a very good point. It's important to have the, the knight on c3 defended. Many mm. things happen on the, on the c3 square in the Sicilian. And Sophie knows it because in the Accelerated Dragon, it does happen. Yeah. Even if it's yeah, not against the Long Castle. Yeah. <laughs> so here, black goes queen a5, and now we can go bishop h6. Nobody is threatening us anymore. Black took here. I think it's pretty much the same. Whether he takes or not, the queen will still get to h6 hmm. um, with check if, if he plays rook c8. So I think this position will still be reached, if even if he plays rook c8 directly. And now we have to see how <laughs> how we continue, because one idea that we would like here to play is to remove this knight from f6. So g5 makes a lot of sense. But if we do yeah. go g5 here, the question is, what if knight h5? Uh -huh. Well, then I suppose we have to take it. We can take it, but we don't really have enough pieces for that. We can take on h5, g takes. And we're not quite ready yet to... So then we have to wait a bit. Or maybe playing... But that's kind of ruining my point if I play knight f4. No, that's actually proving your point. It is? <laughs> yes. That here knight f4 is what we would like to play. But what happens if knight f4? 
if black takes an f4 no if white plays knight f4 no if black takes yeah queen h7 is is game over yeah but that's this is where i would be afraid of uh, rook takes c3 and you'd be right because rook c3 is winning for black now <laughs> okay good <laughs> Yeah, then then I therefore would be uh, yeah mystic. That's right. Yeah, knight needs to protect the other knight. Yeah, this knight, this this other knight needs to be protected. So this is what we would like to play, but we really want to be able to to play knight f4 in this position. So again, what does Karpov do in this position? I'll let you tell me, because you already. <laughs> I think you can already guess. You think I guessed it? I think you can guess what he played here. So if you have okay. a problem with a knight on c3. Ah, so if we have a problem with the knight on c3, we could either move it or protect it. Um, we could just play, oh, but we have to be careful about c2, I think. Right? Because if we play something like knight d5, that's a very serious threat because it's also knight threatening to play d7 and, and most importantly, just take the knight on f6 and checkmate. But yeah. then if it takes on c2, that's a check. But maybe it's just, it's just that because we move the king and I'm not 100 percent comfortable with this position because I think black would have black would have to take on b2 I think I was yeah it. that's what I was looking at does that then, work when the king takes then maybe we're okay <laughs> but um... I mean black did sacrifice a book in that position so he must be the one to try to win it but maybe he can he could give a check, but then maybe we just go in the corner and we're fine. But you know, knight f6 is not really a mate when you take on f6. Is it not going to be a checkmate? It's not, because I take with the e pawn. Ah, and then you get a square on e7. Yes. So I maybe I'm not forced to take on b2. I'm going to look for help in the chat now. <laughs> 95 uh, takes here. Maybe I can play something else in that position. King, uh, King b1. King, King b1 is a very Karpov-ish move, I think. <laughs> but it's King not King helping B. the knight on c3. I agree. Very Yeah, you, you defend a2, but I think rook c3 might still be possible in some lines with yeah. some checks on the B file. Rook D5. Rook D5 okay. is, a, is a possibility here, of course, because I can't take it. I have to move my queen away. Yeah, but then we're not threatening to take the knight. No, we're not. This mm. is not easy, no, but when I show you, when I show you the move, <laughs> you'll find it very simple. Okay, what about, I was actually, yeah, okay. So it's just... It's actually it's very simple once you see it. So I yeah. have to protect my knight. Okay, let's protect the knight. <laughs> Don't need to move it around and sack on c2, just protect it. No, no, everything must be defended first. And now... 97 we're... is checkmate. No, actually 97 is not checkmate in the lines that we were looking at with rook c2. Because I still have the square h8, and it won't be made. So rook d3, just, just uh, defend. Why isn't g5 working? I'm going to show this again, because on g5, knight h5, we wanted to play knight f4. And here we didn't like rook takes c3 very much. There was also a question here about what if he takes on h5. So let's just look at that, at knight h5 here, but rook c2, yeah? Yeah. King b1. Oh, can you refresh the board? Sorry, yeah. And one thing I can do if I, sorry, king b1 here, if I don't find anything better is 
taking on h5, I'm thinking. But don't uh, it just Lagnas have maybe a, per, a perpetual by taking on b2? Yes, I think I have at least a perpetual, but I'm trying to win this now <laughs> with black. And I'm trying. So here I'm thinking I have one move that is bishop f5, giving back the piece to defend h7. And I have another move that is queen e5 instead of bishop f5 to defend h8. Oh, and b2. <laughs> and b2, I thought b2, yes. Yeah. So this is why it doesn't work. Queen e5, nice move, yeah. Protect and attack. Does it work? I think it does. Takes uh, takes here, takes queen e5. Should work. Queen takes h7, king f8, queen h6. I can just go to... No, I can't. I have to play queen g7. Here, here. Hmm. Queen h6, and here I don't have king e8 because I'm getting mated again, but I can go queen to g7 and I am a piece up with black. Yeah, that should be enough. Should be enough, yes. So this is why, well, it's not that g5 does not work, it's that knight f4, which would like to play, does not work in this position. And if he gets to play knight h5 for free and close our uh, h-file, we are not too happy about it. So he no. plays rook d3, just preparing everything, preparing the knight f4 idea. For example, if black plays something like bishop e6, that does not change much, we are going to do this. Yeah. And we are very much attacking, there is nothing... Uh, from from black here. This would be good for white. But in the game he went rook to c5 in this position. Rook d3, rook c5. And what are we going to do here with white? Yes, we do want to win as white. Avoiding he's getting ready to take on d5. Um... Yes. Maybe rook d5 could be working now. Rook d5 directly. You can play rook d8 of rook d5. Protecting um, c3. With the idea oh. of next uh, playing g5 next. Yeah, but then we're no longer protecting the knight on c3, so I'm not sure if it's good so enough. Maybe we don't have g5 anymore. That's what you mean, right? I mean, knight f4. Yeah. Oh, okay. So maybe f4 is not so nice because it's actually the square that the knight wants to jump on. Because I was also looking at f4. In and knight to five, but then okay. wants to here. And maybe we could go to g3. To g3. Mm -hmm. Maybe. You are losing the g4 pawn when you play f4. Uh, but can you take that? I don't know. Bishop takes g4. <laughs> I'm just hoping to stop you from playing g5. Of course, bishop takes. I was just looking at knight takes and thinking that couldn't be. Oh, but yeah. yeah he can... Of course. Okay. Uh, a3. Ah, a3 with the idea of going b4. I think it's playing on the. Where you're not the... supposed to. And b4, by the way, does not work because even if you get that, I take on a3 with check. Queen a3, check. And yeah. you lose the house here. Uh, e5, Mikoa is. Uh, I've actually noticed that Mikoa has had some good ideas, so I'm going to see what he's saying here. E5, and if rook takes. E, yeah, E5, and then he can't take with the pawn, I guess, because we take the bishop on D7. True, yeah. And rook takes E5. G5. We can play F4. Okay, F4. With the tempo on the rook. Mm -hmm. And then. That's not so... Uh, would that be an idea? 
let's go. Let's see. I'm the only thing I'm wondering on F4. Can I take on E2? Can I take on E2 on A and A2? I don't know. I'm I'm just looking for counterplay, but that seems like a way to try something. Let's see it on the board. Maybe this is to and f4 here. I am looking at rook e2. Can you uh, refresh the board? Of course. f4. Mm -hmm. And here, this would be the first move I would be looking at. And if takes queen a2, does this work? g5. Some check on a1. How is this? <laughs> Help! <laughs> <laughs> How is this? Knight a2, queen a2 I want. And on g5 I want queen a1. That's ready to jump to either g3 or f4. So here we're giving we're winning material, but is that really what what we want? <laughs> yeah, because uh, c two will be a problem next on king yeah. b two, queen b two. Here, here. I, maybe I I like this better for black. Maybe yes. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. Very difficult, yeah. Yeah, very difficult to say the least, Nikora is saying. What did he play? He didn't play e5 then. No, but he did play g5. He did play g5. He did play g5. We don't care if he takes with the rook. We don't. What do we play mm. after rook g5? Why don't we? Uh, maybe we play f4 now and then g e5? Sorry, uh, f4 and e5? What else? Or, oh, can we... Okay, so that's... Okay. I'm thinking about putting something on d5 to cut the connection between the uh, rook and the queen. Uh huh. What would you put on d5? <laughs> yeah, because if I put the rook on d5, um, okay, so I have two pieces I can put on d5. I can yeah. put the rook on d5, then he would have to take with the rook, mm -hmm. because otherwise, take his rook. And then after that, then maybe taking with the knight on d5. And he can't take that because of queen h5. No, he can't. If he does something like taking on a2, then just taking on f6. Yeah. Or e7, maybe. Yeah. Rook d5. Those. You did want to play this move before, but now it comes with the uh, tempo on the it's queen. Right. Yeah. Uh, Harry says that he recognizes this game. Yes. This is a famous game, and you might recognize the final uh, tactic. Knight b5, and now he played rook e8. He needs to defend e7, right? Knight e7 is a big threat in this position. Yeah. No, there is nothing else. Uh, queen a2, you just take on e7 and at least take on c8 and blacks out of pieces. Yeah, there's nothing to, to attack with if he does anything else. So rook e8, what would you play in this First position? First we have to get this knight takes f6, just seeing if it's working. <laughs> yeah. Because he obviously has to take, otherwise he's getting checkmated right away. Uh, queen h7, king f8, queen h8, king e7, then maybe he is uh, just running away. Flying, yes. And 
Okay, it's not so bad because we haven't actually, I think that position would be, I don't think we would be any like material down, so it'd probably be good, but it's not winning on this spot as far as I can. No, we are a pawn down, but I don't think it matters very much in that position that, that we are yeah. a pawn down. It's really, um, but we have better here. Still can't take on d5, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, could we go knight? Knight? I'm just trying to figure out what I'm trying to accomplish with this position. Uh, it would be nice to maybe take the knight and then mm. go knight d5, because then we would um, take the square e7 away and we would threaten knight f6 so that's a very nice idea yeah but maybe knight c3 in order for not to give him time to take on a2 no but uh he doesn't have time for taking on a2 actually because what oh. you said is very convincing <laughs> <laughs> so knight f4 knight f4 bring the other knight yeah, because it's with check and even if he takes an a2 it's not with check or anything no you take on f6. Okay, let's show this line. Uh, sorry. Queen a2. So if he wants to take on f6, pawn takes. Queen h7. King f8. And here you wanted knight d5. Yes, or do you want to check? No, knight d5 looks more convincing. I don't want to, to allow the king to escape. Yeah, but you see after knight f4? Oh, sorry. You don't see the line. Queen a2. After yeah. Knight f6, yes. queen h7, king f8. And here I'm saying that queen h8 is one move and knight d5 next, but knight d5 looks more convincing because yeah. I don't want to give this escape square to the king and I just want to mate on h8 when I play queen h8. There's and if he plays queen e1, it's just a one. It's a, what did you call that? It's a revenge check. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> Queen a1, just king d2. There's another one that's here, but I think that's that's that. <laughs> no more, no more checks. And then the mate is coming. Okay, he can take on d5, but I don't mind that. Queen d5, pawn takes. Happy with that outcome as well. Yes. So knight f4 is actually a very strong move. And what you want to do is replace this knight. Mm. But he goes bishop c6 and he covers d5 and now you you can't play knight d5 the way you want it to no so what do we do here yeah this is carp of uh, the game that we are looking at Nice okay, and, and Luca was also had also find uh, found out knight f4 in the Twitch chat. Knight f6 and knight h5 is screaming. Yes, yes, but there is something there. Keep looking for ways to defend for black. So after knight h5, look for the alternatives. The first one, okay, Sophie's pointing out the capture, but the first one she should be looking for is the check. <laughs> Where is the check? Oh my, I have a check. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking Black had a check. I'm like, Black doesn't have any checks. No, okay. no, he does have a check. Knight f6, pawn takes f6, knight h5. What check does he have? Oh, he has queen g5. Then Painful. Huh? Queen g5 yes. is painful, I think. Yeah, I agree. I'm going to show that line because it's yeah, really. it, it has a nice point to it. So knight f6 is and knight h5 is what you want. But now but, queen g5 is the problem. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can win the exchange, but the end game is not clear at all. No. So, let's go back to our position and keep looking for options. Now that we've seen queen g5 Okay, so we wanna, uh, I'm still really uh, tempted to take an f6. <laughs> then after he takes back, okay, can we then take an h7? 
first. Um, maybe he can go to f8. Yes, has to go to f8. Then I don't think knight h5, h5 is as funny. No, probably not. <laughs> see, the king is not in the g-file mm. anymore. So. The king um, is escaping. Okay, let's say I don't take the knight on f6. Yeah, let's say you don't take the knight on f6. Somebody said, <laughs> let me just see who said that. Chess scholar is saying both are scampered. I guess and that's take, uh, sacking the queen chicken when you think. <laughs> you have to tell me how you're going to sack the queen. There are many ways to sacrifice the queen in this position. That's yeah. more. <laughs> E5? Oh, maybe that was the black move we were looking at. Yeah. Um, cool. King B1 Nine. is a suggestion, and it's a nice prophylactic move, but if you are looking for ways to stop the check, uh, consider first the moves that threaten something. King B1 is, of course, there something that you can consider. Wait a minute. I think knight E6... 96. People are really looking at 96 right now, and I think there might be something to that. Let me see. Okay, so if we play 96, uh, we can check mate on g7, so he has to take it. Yeah. Unless he can play knight h5. No, then we just take with the rook. No, we can't take with the rook because then the queen e1 is checkmate. I was lo I'm looking at uh, knight e7. Knight, knight e6, and then after knight e5. No, but check out the forcing line first. Don't waste time with knight h5. See what happens if pawn takes e6. Okay, so if pawn takes uh, g6, then um, I could take here an f7 with check. And I think the point is that I take um, it's going to be more difficult for him to escape because if I take is it. An eight seven, is it? Isn't it? Maybe it's <laughs> King of eight. <sighs> yeah, and then if I go either Queen H six or Queen H eight, he's going to still go to E seven. And the eight. Yeah. Okay, so let's say we still escaping. So let's say he takes okay. anything else. Luca has it and Okay, Cruz? I'm gonna do this. Krunk's mm -hmm. 1990, yeah. Who has it? And Luca Luke. also has it on, on the YouTube chat. So here, as, as I was saying, f uh, moves that threaten something first. E5, if, if he takes E5, knight takes F6, knight takes F6. Okay, yeah. so it's again cutting the queen off it's cutting the queen off yeah but the difference between e5 and king b1 is that e5 is more forcing right you he has yeah. to do something on king b1 he can play whatever he wants i don't know he can probably maybe he can come up with something but on e5 um i want to take the knight and if d takes e5 then he, this line works yeah. The point is that if pawn takes, then rook g1. And mate on g7 anyway. Queen. Queen here next. Mm. He didn't take on, on e5. He played bishop takes d5 in the game. And pawn takes f6. Now check. Uh, I think he resigned here. But just to show you why. Here... Knight d5 and rook e1. There's rook e1 in that position. That would have been a blunder. Sorry? I was about to suggest oh. rook e1 here. <laughs> I forgot to ask you. I actually thought, okay, let me. Here I'm going to ask her, what do you play? <laughs> but I forgot to, to pin a diagram here in my analysis. So I forgot that here uh, I was supposed to ask you what you play because rook e1, bishop e6. I oh, mean, queen e1. <laughs> Bishop e6 also works, but queen takes e1 is probably stronger, yes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> so, um, that yeah, does okay. not work. Taking no. an 5 and then 
then there's no queen takes e1 and yeah. we get to take an e8 yeah. and then rook e1 yeah yeah this is reciprocal thinking something like that yeah because you you start with a line you see that it doesn't work i'm talking about the line with knight f6 you see that it doesn't work because of knight of queen g5 and then you find you go back and keep looking for candidates and now you know what you're looking for i want to stop queen g5 so you look for ways to do that you'll probably find king b1 you'll and you'll find e5 yeah it's good, uh, it's a good point to not give up on your ideas for yeah yeah, yeah that's, that's a very good point i agree um did uh somebody ask let's see uh mikora asked where did black go wrong was the position lost for black oh uh, i think rook c5 uh no but white is better usually these attacks here in these positions are usually a little bit better for white yeah and i think white's attack is stronger in this position uh, black's attack will be slower this position is good for white uh, but i think rook d3 i think here Okay, bishop e6, for example, is maybe slightly better. But we do have g5, and this looks ugly, no? Knight f4. And maybe here the move that we were looking at before, queen e5, to try to defend. Yeah. On the king side. And black is not getting mated. Yes, it's not a pleasant position, but uh, he's not losing material right away. I think in this um, game, my two favorite moves were the when he played knight d to e2 <laughs> and when he played rook d3. Yeah, I like those moves as well. But it was just such a nice way to, uh, and something I think I need to be better at, to take a little bit of time to uh, deprive your opponent of any counterplay and then you can carry on with, with the crazy stuff afterwards. A little bit of prophylaxis in the middle of the attack. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, that was very nice. Okay, so um, let's move on. I actually had a very some very nice games here that I I had another uh, three more games that I liked, but now I'll have to choose only one because we are already uh, running out of time. Which one am I going to show you? I think I'm going to show you this one where Karpov is black. And let me flip the board. Karpov's black here, and we're going to start. Uh, we're going to start from this position, mm. where, well, White uh, has just played knight a4. Oh, wait, I see this from Black's perspective. Yeah, this is from Black's per perspective, and this is Tatai Stefano versus uh, Anatoly Karpov. Okay, there is a big discussion here about the move e5. Uh, I think the move e5 is not easy to see, but it is something that someone who is looking for it will see it without the help, uh, the help of an engine. And we were discussing this line before and we saw that queen g5 was a problem, so I don't, I don't see why that uh, many people actually found it in Twitch as well. e5. The funny thing about this position is <laughs> that... Uh, was it last week that I was looking for Karpov's games, attacking games, and I found this game against Korchno and I thought, okay, I'm going to include this game in in our for our session today. And then <laughs> some some days after that, I go back, I go to solving my exercises from from the book that I was telling you about, Imagination in Chess. And guess what? <laughs> One of the exercises was actually the diagram that we had where black uh, where white plays e5. <laughs> I was looking at it. Hey, look, that's uh, that's familiar. That looks familiar. Yeah. Funny coincidence. So yeah, you might uh, you might find it in tactics books also. This e5 idea. Like a famous one. Famous one, yeah. Okay, so let's go back to our game. Here I was telling you that uh, White's last move was knight a4, and what he wants to do with this is obviously take on b6 and win the pawn on c4. But there is a problem uh, that he does all this, but his king is still in the center. Yeah. So this is what Karpov decides to play here. 
uh, to play for the development advantage, castle short, and forget about the pawn. And was white greedy? Yes, white was greedy. That's why he played knight a4. <laughs> pawn takes, and now queen c4. And now Karpov goes e5. No, just try to to get more pieces into the game. Maybe bishop e6. Okay, knight d4 yeah. is always there. Knight d4 was not possible before uh, because the knight was pinned. So yeah, queen c2, and now knight d4 is coming. You can already see that white's position is uh, very difficult. Now f4, more space. Knight c3, here he plays e4. White should probably castle, but even there... Yeah, it's amazing how much black got with that uh, with that pawn. Just thinking was c2 maybe a mistake? Because... Um... No, I think the mistake was, was made before when white decided to go for the pawn. Um, after castle, black already has an advantage. Uh, even if he castles here, I mean, if white castles, we are going to probably go b5 and b4. Yeah. But why goes d3? He's just trying to get some pieces out, no? He gets rid of the pawn on e4, op open the dark square bishop. And here b4, b5 again. Bishop e3 and b4. Knight d1. And here he calmly plays rook e8. It's very nice. Improve your pieces, no? <laughs> d takes e4 was played. Bishop takes d4. Queen takes. But the bishop he... is such a good asset in this position. Sorry, the bishop on g7, no? The bishop pair is bishop just pair. such yeah. a good asset in this type of position, right? Yes, yeah, the bishop pair. Yeah, that's big compensation for the pawn also. And this is again not not easy at all for white. Still, I think he should have castled here. Maybe just yeah. castle. But he can't really move because b2 will be hanging when he moves the knight. Um, so maybe you can play bishop g4 here. Attack mm. e2. There are also ideas with queen d2 in this position. So this is this is still still very difficult, but better than what happened in the game because here white played a3, which is already delaying castle too much, and this allows us to put some breaks into onto white's development. So what do we do here with black? Okay, bear in mind that we have many good moves. Just let's try to give this a thought, some thought. Yeah, um, let's see. My first idea is to go b3. Yeah, this probably two, works. It's, uh, it's like a thorn, <laughs> a thorn in, in, in white's position. But it's not like, if we play b3, it's not, an immediate threat, so he can maybe castle after that. Probably. Uh, of course, we could also consider to take. Yeah. He take with the pawn because the rook is hanging, so he would have to take back uh, with, with his. And then I'm not so sure. Um, we could of course take, and then pawn take. Oh, wait, we could play queen b5 before in that position. I think so. That's what I was looking at now, that you probably can play queen b4. Just to make sure he doesn't castle. Unless... You're actually can. threatening to win my rook after queen b4. Yeah, I'm threatening rook takes uh, a3. You are so... threatening rook a3, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so... If he plays knight c3, I guess I can just take that and he... Mm, maybe I can, maybe he takes with the book then. Yeah, 
Maybe next to me is uh, going to be... No, but I think oh, you can I still take on a3, no? On knight c3. Yeah. First, and then I take the knight. And you take on c3. No, so after pawn takes a3, I probably shouldn't take on a3. Especially since your pawn is pinned, actually, on a3. So maybe I can castle in that position. Yeah, maybe. And then... Yeah. Yeah, I can probably castle. Okay, you probably still have an advantage there. But I really don't like allowing black or white to castle here, no. sorry. So no, what else? Good. What if we play, solve the problem of the rook on a8 by playing something like bishop f5? So now the rooks are connected and we might be threatening to play e3. e3. Yeah, that, yeah. What, that was also suggested. Oh, in yeah. The chat, just... bishop f5. And the move that was actually played in the game was slightly... A slight improvement over your idea of bishop f5 is bishop g4. Because now you hit on e2 and white can't castle anymore, no? Let me just see. Ah, yeah. So here white goes queen c2. And I'm going to give you some time here because it's where the game gets good. This is where the game gets good, okay. Yes. <laughs> I feel like we have a lot of natural moves to choose from. Something like rook c8. We're even taking here, but it's it's not, it doesn't seem like it's, a, it's moves that would make the game uh, good. like good. <laughs> Normal, right? Um, oh, you're going to like the next move once you see it. Something about e. If you go rook c8, by the way, I have queen b3 check. Yeah, and then taking on b4? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, the title is not updated on on Twitch because we we can't update it. Well, I can't. Freestream uh, is not my friend. Does not want to update the title on Twitch. I'm going to look for inspiration in the chat. <laughs> Let's see. Look A C eight. Yeah, that's what we looked at, but then maybe the queen check. Queen check Rook on B three. B three. Ooh, that would be a move that would <laughs> <laughs> make something special. Queen d3, uh, yeah? Very, very nice suggestion. Let me just... Very nice idea there. Let's what see. do you think about queen d3? I think it, it <laughs> needs to be investigated. It needs to be investigated, yeah. <laughs> um, first of all, what, it's threatening the queen, right? And it's also, and if the queen moves, then we can take an e2. So he has to take. If he takes with the queen, it's we just take with the pawn, and we haven't sacrificed anything, and we can take an e2 next move, and it's that's just good. So I guess the critical line would be if we play queen d3, and he takes with the pawn. Mm -hmm. But still, then we just take with the pawn, and it's a discovered check, and we also attack with the queen. So. We're winning the material back and probably with like really good rook. Yeah. Really good... <laughs> yeah, I like queen d3. Queen d3 is what he played. B takes a3 is probably very strong also, but queen d3 is just uh, adds a wow effect to the game. I don't think you'd play bishop b takes a3 if you go if you see queen d3 <laughs> in a game, no? Uh, for no. example, here takes. Uh, I don't, I don't know if this so, has been suggested, but uh, this might work now. No, this should still be uh, very nice for black. Queen d two. Yeah, and play against the king in the center with the bishop pair. It's nothing immediate, but I have rook d eight, rook c eight. Everything's coming with tempo. But queen d three is, is just more forcing here and. 
more direct you open the the e-file it's a beautiful move it's also. a beautiful move also yeah and if queen d3 this is what we sophie wasn't worried about because well it's nothing we didn't lose the queen and here yeah here i think we have many good moves yeah mm. uh, but the, be. sorry we didn't consider it. I'm, I'm not sure if I want to give up the bishop pair, but we could maybe take an d1 and then take an d2, or, or maybe uh, just put in I, the I wouldn't. I wouldn't give up my bishops here, no. Uh, I think it's also too greedy, but yeah. then maybe rook c8 or. Yeah, I think if you play rook d8 or something like that, it works. But there is actually a nice idea about that knight on d1, and that is to play d2 here. And here's the point. If king takes d2, I get my rook in with check. <laughs> and here I can take on a3. Ah, that's a good point. The knight is hanging if rook a3 and pawn takes a3. Not possible because the rook on a1 is hanging. So this was this would be very strong, for example, d2 here. But let's see the game, because in the game he takes with the e pawn and then comes pawn takes. King d2, another check, another check, and then we get the queen, and this looks check. looks much better, no? Yeah. <laughs> With the check. Mm -hmm. King b4, and here he goes rook to d2, attacking the knight, no? So f3, and here bishop f8. And this is pretty much game over. King a5, he plays bishop d7. And the threat in this position is to go bishop c5 and rook a8. Yeah. And white is getting mated. Okay, and also to take the bishop on g2. <laughs> if nothing else. If nothing else. We can also take the bishop on g2. But this would be probably the main thing. Yeah. Uh, here white resigned. It was a very nice game and I actually had a few more to show you, but uh, we will stop here for today. I'm always disappointed when I find so many good games and I can't show them, but <laughs> one hour is too little for all these games. They deserve to be analyzed and... Second round after we've been through everybody, we just take another round going with Kapov's part two. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we can do it. Probably that's what we should do. Just take two rounds of of some players okay we will be done for for today yeah everybody has been joking at, about sergey and tamur looking differently today but we can't well i can't change the title <laughs> and uh, we will finish the stream for now thank you all for joining us uh, we hope to be back next week at our usual time which was 3 p.m ct yes. i don't have a confirmation yet but do you know who the um i haven't looked at but i'm i'm guessing if we just saw karpov we should see kasparov next <laughs> it's probably he's probably <laughs> next I'm, I'm going to check my list but i i think so i think he's next so we're going That's to have a lot of fun <laughs> <laughs> next week it's not going to be difficult to find uh, attacking games from kasparov no, I don't think you'll have no. that. I'll probably have a problem selecting them. <laughs> um, yeah, that will be all for today. Uh, don't forget to check out coaches.com uh, who are the ones sponsoring these lessons. And if you need uh, a coach maybe to help you out uh, with uh, chess improving, well, there you'll find many. I am one of them, of course. <laughs> really 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 recommend thank you sophie okay so let's finish for today because i know there are many events uh programmed for today thank you again for 